Welcome back YouTube, Dylan Carr, bringing you yet another Aura's Live Wi-Fi battle. I hope you guys are having so much fun with your families during the holiday season. I know I am. I'm chilling with my, uh, my grandma, my girlfriend, her familia. Totally having a good time. So we're getting a Christmas tree battle with the Mega Sceptile, which totally looks like a Christmas tree. I'm bringing the same team I did in my last battle, which I got beat pretty hard. But I'm hoping this time around we can pull it off. I want my Grodel to put some work in. I am really, really adamant about having my Grodel rock out. Alright guys, let's get this battle going. Alright, that same legendary Pokemon that I hate more than anything. <laughs> That's what basically owned me in the last battle, unfortunately. Okay, so but this time it's going to be different. I have the same team I had last time. Hey, we're both bringing Christmas tree Pokemon. How dope. We're both bringing the Mega Sceptile. Or is it Mega Charizard? Okay, might be rocking Mega Char. If that's the case, I really want to get my rocks out. I know Rhydon can't take a fighting type move, and he's got two dangerous fighting type Pokemon. Because of Charizard, I want rocks. <laughs> So I'm going to lead with uh, Rhydon, and he's probably predicting that. He's probably thinking, oh yeah, he wants that Rhydon. That's what he wants. I'm doing it. Rhydon is leading. I know it might be way too obvious with the Charizard on his team. But I want rocks, and I want it now. <laughs> I want rocks, and I want it now. Stealth rocks, baby. Yeah, I'm having a great time. I'm on my uh, two-week vacation, and I'm totally digging it. I do a lot on my two week of vacations. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew this thing would be the thing you'd start with. I knew this would be the thing. Can Rhydon survive? That's the thing. I know I'm gonna be in the red, bare minimum. Does he have an item? He's got an item, alright. That might be choice band. Dang it. You know what? We're going to live and learn. I once battled the Rhydon two videos back, I think. No, no, no. It was like four videos back. And Rhydon owned me. Let's see the power of Rhydon. If I can just get my rocks out. Does he have any spinners? No, he doesn't. He don't have no spinners. I'm taking a chance. We're stealth rocking. Dang it. I kind of felt that that was going to happen. But at the same time, like... It did like what, one HP? I'm I'm stealth rocking, I don't care. Please survive, please survive, please survive, right on! Right on, yes! You can't beat right on with a close combat, you fool! <laughs> stealth rock, baby. Give it to him. Alright, alright. Loving that. Okay, so now I got a choice. Do I need right on? If it's Mega Charizard X. Yeah, not with this. I, mm. He does have that Tyranian thing. Whatever that thing is. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and let Rhydon die. You did good, Rhydon. You did good. Come back to your Pokeball. Come <laughs> back to your Pokeball. I feel like Giovanni right now. Is that how he talks? That, that, is that how Giovanni talks? Return right on back to your Pokeball. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and rock out Skeptile. Just to get the Mega Evolution going, get a little speed boost going on. I'm a substitute. He might want to stay in, because, I mean, he might, but I'll be Mega Evolved. And that's just something I want to do. I want that speed. I want my speed. There's no way in heck I can one shot it, but at least I'll be Mega Evolved, and that's good. Okay, he's calling him back. That's fantastic. I was kind of hoping for that. So now Sonic Tornado's here. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> I love that nickname, Sonic Tornado. So now I'm a sub and I'll be looking really good. I'll be looking all kinds of Christmas tree. Look at the lights on me. I've got Christmas lights on my back. I'm loving it right now. So I am safe and sound behind a substitute. Gonna rock out Dragon Pulse. Yeah, his best bet was to leave his uh, fighting type Pokemon in. That was his best bet. 
Now he's lost his Swallow, unfortunately. Unfortunately for him, I should say. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I always root for my opponent. That's not good. I gotta stop doing that. Who does that? You know? I'm like, unfortunately, he switched out. Poor guy. Alright, so I'm a Dragon Pulse, which won't do nothing. That's okay, though. I wonder if he's a... I wonder what variant of Cresselia this is. Could it be Calm Mind? That's not good. Don't be Calm Mind. Ooh, look at that damage. This is not a perfect... Oh, I got critical. Okay, critical. Hit. All right. To be honest with you guys, I'm pretty sure... My Skeptile can survive an Aurora Beam. I'm gonna take a chance. If you're rocking out Aurora Beam, you are not a competitive Cresselia. <laughs> I am Dragon Pulsing. Yeah, baby. Gone. Okay, so now... We still have a potential Dragon Dancing Charizard to worry about, and that's not good. I don't think I have anything for Dragon Dancing Charizard. Look at that damage. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna substitute now, just in case he's Dragon Dance, and I can kill him on the next turn. If he's Charizard Y, at least I'll know what I'm dealing with. Yes, he's Y. Okay, so we're fine then. So uh, I'm gonna have to switch out here. I do love Y. God, it's been so long since I used Charizard Y. I want to use Y again. I miss Charizard Y. I love Charizard Y, you guys. My favorite Mega of all time. Pichu is my favorite Pokemon, and Mega Charizard Y is my second favorite Pokemon. Okay, so there goes my, my Sceptile. At least I know what variant of Charizard this is. Very good. So now, I'm going to look at my team and find out what I'm going to do. Alright, we're going to go ahead and rock out Tyrantrum here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and send out the old Tyranium, Tyrantrum action. We should take a flamethrower pretty well, even though it is in the sunlight. Dragon Pulse, oh no, that's going to hurt. I wonder if he's predicting that. He probably predicted that. Yeah, he predicted that. Dang. Yeah, I was talking all that smack earlier. That's not good. Yeah, this thing actually hurts me. Oh, you know what? I'm tripping. Strapter, come on out, buddy. Come on out, Straptor. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and double edge. He might switch and then I'll I'll regret double edge. Yeah, awesome, beautiful. Okay, so Charizard's done. Yeah, Charizard really put work in on my team. Really put work in. So I'm glad to have him gone. Alright, so we're still looking good right now. We're looking solid. We're looking real spiffy. Real nice and spiffy. Terekion. Okay, so I gotta switch. Yeah, Terekion, that's its stupid name. I thought it was like Tyranian or something. <laughs> I don't even... For some reason, I'm just not doing good with names today. So I'm sending out Grodel. Grodel's coming out. Hopefully I can put some work in for the Grode. And I've got Sunlight, so I can get some really good healthy heal on Synthesis. Rock Slide, very cool. Okay, so... Dang, that hurt. Critical hit. Of course it was a critical hit. I'm going to go ahead and synthesis because I'm going to take two hits back to back. Which is going to have me real low on health. He's got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grodo might be able to put some work in, actually. Grodo might be able to work. Okay, cool. So I'll be fully, health, fully healed. He might send out Skeptile. Hustle Flow. Okay, that's cool. It's not Omega. That's good. So I'm going to go ahead and heal full health. And now... I am going to start doing what Grodel does. You're finally going to get to see the Grodel strategy, guys. Here we go. Grodel strategy. Well, do I want to do the Grodel strategy? Let's see here. Yeah, I do. Grodel strategy is engaged. Here we go. Um, we are going to Toxic. We're going to start things off. x Scizor. Ah, I should have known. What am I tripping on? What am I tripping on? That did no damage. We're going to Toxic it up. Get nice and poisoned. Yeah, we ain't tripping. Granted, though, he gets a critical hit. That's going to hurt when I mean, if he goes critical. I have another Grodel that I really like to use as well, and it's uh, Shell Armor. But this Grodel has um, Mud Slap. So basically, this Grodel here is not allowed to have Shell Armor because you can't have Mud Slap and Shell Armor at the same time. That's not, that's not legal, you guys. It's not legal. So that's why I don't do it. <laughs> so whatever's coming in is going to take a nice mud slap to the face. 
Beautiful. Nice, happy mud slap. Yeah, obviously, Grodel is a physical defensive Pokemon. That's always nice. So he's now taking accuracy hit. Beautiful, beautiful. He's going to go ahead and fake me out. I'm going to lead seed. I think, to be honest, I think my Grodel owns him from this point on. So I just want to see how much health he's going to take away from me with a close combat. I'm going to go ahead and knock off. Ah, knock off. <laughs> That sucks. Okay. Finally, Grodel is going to do some work, but no. I should have known. I don't see this fighting type Pokemon very much. I don't see it very much. Yeah, I'm going to get hurt bad now. Dang it. Yeah, that sucks. Grodel, really? Man, why didn't I just think of that? That's okay. That's okay. And avoided the lead seed. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's wonderful. Can you at least miss your mud slap? Awesome. Mud slap again. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> okay, well, at least he got mud in his face. That's always good. I'm going to synthesis. I know he might switch or who knows. Knock off again. It's not going to do anything. Okay, awesome. Beautiful. So even though my Evulate's gone, which sucks, I am now going to Leech Seed. Hopefully I can land this time. Hopefully we get a nice happy land. My Evulite's gone, which totally sucks. Yep, he's going to switch. Maybe into his Terrakion again. Hustle Flow. Nope, he's going into that thing. Okay. Very good. Lead seating. Not going to happen. Alrighty then. So I'm still thinking this thing's not going to hurt me too bad. I'm going to Mud Slap. Get a little mud, mud in his eyes a little bit. Yeah, I love my Shellos, uh, my little player known as Shellos, because it has a uh, sticky hold or something. So knockoff can't knock off its item, which I love that. Evulite Shellos with sticky holds, uh, fantastic. I love it because it, when you get your not when you get your Evulite knocked off, it sucks. It's like the worst feeling ever. Okay, so I can't imagine you'd want to stay in this turn. So I'm going to go ahead and lead seed. If he stays in, kind of is what it is. I'm going to lead seed this turn predicting a switch. Okay. That hurt. That hurt pretty bad. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and heal. I have no choice. Got to heal this turn. His Sceptile's taking nice little damage going on. I'm going to heal up. He might kill me if he gets a crit or mid to max damage. Yeah, there goes Grodel. Okay, so now... Now it's time that I wrap it up. Grodel is so awesome. Like, I've actually... Grodel has never really put in work before. But he, he's just so cool. So out comes Staraptor to wrap it up. <laughs> Staraptor gonna wrap it up. Yeah, Brave Bird. Brave Bird. Brave, Brave, Brave Bird. Brave, Brave, Brave Bird. What you gonna do, fool? You gonna die to Brave Bird. All right, so he's going to fake me out with his fighting thing. Hariyama. Yeah, Hariyama. Yeah, so he's going to fake me out with that thing. That's going to hurt. And for some reason, his Trachion's not holding an item, so I ain't tripping on that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and kill Trachion. God, I love having the, the Stealth Rocks on my side of the field. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and Brave Bird kill this thing. And then last but not least, yeah, I'm not too, I don't want Staraptor to take a fake out to the head. I don't want that. So, now, I don't want fake out to the dome, because I think he has bullet punch. So I'm going to go ahead and send out, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and send out my little player. I mean my, uh, my winter. Winter's coming, baby. Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. Yeah. <laughs> so I basically really, 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 really won this battle. Like, I really, really, really won. Like, I really, really won this. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now... Is I am going to... Winter is coming. I'm going to go ahead and flatter. Because I could probably outspeed him. So I'm going to go ahead and flatter. 
get them nice and confused. And I'm going to try to rely a little bit on luck here. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now what we're going to do... Now we're going to go ahead and rock out with some Nuzzling. Winter is coming at you. Winter wants Pokemon blood. She loves blood. She wants it. She wants to bathe in the blood of her enemies. That's what Winter loves. <laughs> Alright, so he's out of confusion. Belly drum. Oh. See what happens when I play around, you guys? You see what happens when I mess around? That's not good. He has bullet punch. Okay, he's got bullet punch. That's not good. <laughs> That's really not good at all. Uh oh. I've seen a lot of variants on Hariyama, but I've never seen a belly jump. So I could nuzzle and pray to God I can beat it, I can kill it, or I can flatter and try to wither, willow, wither him away. I'm gonna flatter because I don't think nuzzle will take it out. It's gonna, I think it'd be so close. Okay, so he doesn't have belly drum, so that's awesome. He's got fake out, belly drum, close combat, and knockoff. That's the moves he has. So I can, st I, I, I've still won this. I still won no matter what. I, but if he had, if he had bullet punch, I'd have been. I'd have been in a lot of trouble if he had bullet punch. So now I'm going for Nuzzle. That scared me a little bit. I was a little scared. Hariyama does have access to bullet punch. Yeah, see that? I wouldn't have killed him. I would not have killed him. So yeah, I made the right play. And the victory goes to me. He kills himself. Mass suicide, Hariyama. Life is precious. Don't do that to yourself, Hariyama. I flattered you, man. Dylan wins. Awesome. <laughs> that was so fun. Now that was one fun battle. That was a good time. Grodel never gets a chance to put in a lot of work, but Grodel still had some some spotlight going on, so right on Grodel. All right, I do love Staraptor. For competitive battling, Staraptor's probably one of my favorite Pokemon ever for competitive battling. All right, guys, so that was awesome, and if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like, and I shall catch you on the next episode. Catch you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>